Hi, this is the first episode of match analysis of a new type. It is devoted to the semi-finals of European Championship 2019, men which have been played on Thursday and Friday. In the first semi-final, Slovenia beat Poland 3-1 and that can be described as a surprise. But, but since Slovenia beat Poland in the last three European Championships 2015, 2017 and 2019, was it really a surprise? Still, Poland is two times world champion in a row, but yeah, of course, they were the favorites. By the way, this is the headline of one of the Polish newspapers. A tragedy, was it? What was the reason for the Slovenian success? Firstly, they have a great volleyball generation and they have been playing in the same squad for many years. Players like Tine Ognaut, Clement Cebul, Mita Gasparini and Talent Pajnk, of course, for the other. Their team is also very experienced. Concretely for the given match, Slovenia, just like in the match in the quarterfinal against Russia, showed amazing skill in the organization of the game, in defense, transition, coverage and counter-attack. In attack on, on Dick, in counter-attack, Slovenia has 48% success against only 33 of Poland. The surf of the Slovenians was also very good, not that good like against Russia, but still very good in order to disorganize the Polish game. Considering the Polish attack, it seemed that during the whole match, the setter of the Polish team, Fabian Gisga, relied too much on the star, Wilfredo Leon, who was not actually in his best shape. Still, it shall be noted that he was forced to spike mainly on a high ball and the Slovenians succeeded to limit him to 30% attack efficiency, which is a very hard task to do. The Slovenian block was very well organized and against the former Cubano, their defense was built exceptionally well. Here on this photo, for example, you can clearly see how the defenders cover almost fully the diagonal of Leon. When Leon was facing a triple block, like here on this picture, position 6, here Tine Urnau, stands not in the middle of the end line, but in the corner. And this worked incredibly well, especially when the ball was touched by the block and could have been taken from the defender here. Additionally, the game of Poland was not diverse enough. The opposite during the match, Maciej Muzaj and David Konarski didn't give enough of an added value and Piotr Nowakowski, one of the middle blockers, didn't attack even a one ball for four sets, which is quite amazing and very strange. Reversely, Slovenia showed brilliant team play and the setter Dejan Vincic succeeded in tearing open the block of the Polish team, especially after a good or perfect reception, just showed in this picture. The real stars of the game for Slovenia were the outside hitters, Tine Unaut and Clement Cebul. They showed their world class and leadership skills. As a further addition, the Slovenian made only five direct errors in spiking for the whole match against 12 for the Polish team. In the second semi-final we witnessed another surprise. After their wonderful performance in the group stage and the eliminations by now, France was the favorite against Slovenia. But they lost in a tiebreak. The Serbs didn't receive well, actually they received almost awfully with 29% versus 53 for France. But they were amazing in blocking 16 against 6. 
Here it should be duly noted that Serbia didn't just make only kill blocks, but also touch the ball and dig it in defense. This happens even in cases where the reception of France was perfect or good. And that means that Serbia and their new head coach, Slobodan Kovac, read the game of the brilliant French setter Benjamin Tonetti perfectly. The percentages of Uroš Kovacevic and Nemanja Petric when spiking weren't very high, but Aleksandar Atanasiewicz, the star opposite of Serbia, compensated brilliantly. The middle blockers, Podraščanin and Lisinac, made also an excellent effort and contributed for the win. France played far from their best, and the missing Kevin Tilly and the inconvincing in this match opposite Stéphane Bouillet forced Tunuti to play mostly with Erling Pet, especially in the fourth and the fifth set. That worked pretty well in the fourth set, but didn't in the fifth. After trailing in the, fourth, in the fifth set in the tie break, Tunuti tried to change the style of playing in the setter calls and the distribution, but this didn't work either. In this picture you can clearly see that he calls the middle behind on the left and plays in position 4 and he calls the middle in front and plays with the opposite behind, which is not very usual for the French wizard. The final. Tomorrow Slovenia will play Serbia in the final. Who is the favorite? Hard to say, but will be a very nice match to watch. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to like the clip, to share the video and to watch us the next time. Bye.